Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, July 23rd. An unidentified infant was the lone survivor in a fatal crash last night on the 14th Freeway in Acton around 8 p.m. The 2014 Gray Ford Focus was traveling on the northbound 14 Freeway near Santiago Road when the car veered left and struck the guardrail at a metal pole. The 31-year-old female passenger from Palmdale was pronounced dead at the scene by emergency responders. The 31-year-old male driver was taken to Palmdale Regional Hospital where he was later pronounced dead. The infant suffered major injuries and was airlifted to USC Hospital. Next of kin notification is pending. A Santa Clarita Bank employee has been arraigned on four counts after stealing nearly $25,000 from Wells Fargo customers. 25-year-old Samuel Jose Godinez is being arraigned on four felony counts, including knowingly writing checks with insufficient funds, alleged theft from an 81-year-old woman, and the charge of victimizing an elderly woman. Godinez was fired from Wells Fargo after an internal investigation and arrested on July 2nd. Godinez is facing a sentence of six years in state prison, which will be served in county jail if convicted on all charges. 80% of California is suffering from extreme drought, so the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors unanimously approved a measure to adopt the State Water Resources Control Board emergency regulations for con water conservation. The motion calls for regulations to be implemented by August 1st. Regulations will include prohibiting certain water uses, including washing driveways and sidewalks, washing your car without a fitted shutoff nozzle, limiting outdoor watering to two days a week, and requiring suppliers to report per capita usage. Let's file this next story under stupid. A Santa Clarita teen was cited for marijuana possession after pulling out a marijuana pipe in front of a, the Valencia Sheriff's Station. A station detective was returning to the office from a nearby Valencia courthouse when he walked by two teenagers who were next to a glass wall near the Bureau's headquarters. A 17-year-old boy proceeded to pull out a pipe and was about to smoke when the detective confronted him. The other teenager was not cited. The Santa Clarita Sheriff's Station is hosting a DUI checkpoint this Friday night within Santa Clarita city limits. So if you plan to be out and about, make sure you have a safe and sober way to get home. Now turning to weather. Wednesday was hot with a high of 100 degrees. Lows will be in the upper 60s. The rest of the week is going to build with a high of 103 degrees on Thursday. The weekend will be continuing the heat wave with temps in the upper 90s throughout. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm George Cummings.